rebuild the old number plate holder on my Golf. Dad starts off by making grooves in between the cracks. Hiya folks, welcome back to another episode of Why the Hell Did I Buy This? Just a quick recap, I imported the GLI from the UK to Portugal a while back, and on the last episode I mentioned that I had just received the Portuguese age-related registration, which enabled me to fit the black and white plates. And as you can see from the title below, we're going to be fitting the front number plate. So let's get on with it. Dad and I had a discussion if we were just going to bolt the new number plate onto the old mount, but he wasn't happy with my idea of just doing that, because the new front plate in particular is smaller than the mount itself, and he thought it would look... untidy. It's generally seen on some Portuguese Mark I Golfs, with them bolted onto the factory mount. Other folks simply have the corners of the mount chopped off and that weakens the structure, and since I wanted to keep the original mount intact, Dad quite kindly decided to make something new and proper for the GLI. So I started off by unbolting the front number plate mount. Crikey, she looks American now. Dad then scavenged our scrap section and found a steel panel off our old gas boiler. He used the old number plate mount to copy its design, but shrinking it down to fit discreetly and snugly behind the new number plate. With the design done, it was time to give new life to this plain old piece of steel. <laughs> These blue pieces of steel are transformed into the support brackets of the new number plate mount, but initially they were part of our car lift steel box frame in which it was transported in. It looks good and it's stronger than the original. Dad then degreases it ready for a few coats of paint. That's one new number plate mount fresh out of the oven. Looks good, doesn't it? Sorry for some of these being in portrait. I forgot to take them in landscape. Right, since the tailgate's now drying, Spoilers. we're gonna put some roof nuts on the new number plate holder. And uh, enjoy. Yeah. No. Absolutely. No. After finding the right riv nuts for the stainless steel screws, we then positioned exactly where we wanted the number plate to be, so that we could then drill the pilot holes.
and a quick dab of paint to protect the exposed metal. Dad then rehearses with the rivnut tool. The steel panel off the old boiler is still useful. <laughs> In goes the first rivnut. And then the second one. The threads are not shredded, so jobs are good'n. A bit of Loctite on the screws and it's finally time to fit the number plate onto its mount. After fitting it, I soon found an issue once I shaked it. I forgot that the numbers and letters were riveted from the back, so naturally it rattled against the freshly painted steel. <laughs> so Dad found me some double-sided sponge and I got to work. Right, second time lucky, it's now finished. Look at that! What a proper job. Well, it was not quite finished yet. After a cup of tea and looking at a few Portuguese Mark 1 Golfs, I noticed a recurring theme, let's just say some unsightly bending issues. So I told Dad we should add another couple of screws closer to the edges because this is Portugal we're talking about and the number plates are made of plastic so with the heat and age they are bound to warp at some point. So we went overboard, maybe. Finally, I could bolt on the mount. Time to check it out. And that is it folks, what do you think of the end result? I was over the moon with it. I think dad did marvels with this job and it saved me a bit of money. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel. It's totally free for those who are unaware and it truly helps with the growth of this channel. Thank you very much for watching, wishing you all the best and stay tuned for more. Bye. Right. What the heck was I saying?